Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday and my channel. Now for today's video I'm at my farm and we're actually going to do a task in the valley. Now, when I was doing my live stream the other day, I highlighted something for many of the viewers that were there. And there were a lot of people saying, oh, I didn't know this, and that's so much better. So today I'm going to be making a video to show you how to play one of the activities that comes up every now and then in the valley. Now, down in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see where it says 34 fuel, and there's a little calendar-style icon. Click on the calendar icon, and up comes your daily quest menu. Now, when you slide across the menu, you're going to see lots of chests that need to be opened. And there's the occasional actual pig with a moustache on there. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. And I'm going to show you how to play that and hopefully move through each of the three games that you've got there without spending any diamonds but claiming loads of rewards. And it's a really good method, especially if you don't get a bomb. Now, it's not always successful. Sometimes you'll play, and when you do, you do get one of those bombs, which means you lose all of the prizes. But at least this way, you're not spending any diamonds and not going to waste any diamonds by moving through the three games. Right, when I click on the actual pig, up comes the menu. And you'll see there, there's quite a few items down there and the one bomb. Now, at this stage of the game, actually spending five diamonds if you get the bomb is not a problem. However, you progress through the games and the diamond quantities become very, very expensive indeed. And at the end of the day, it's not really worth it. You're trying to get something free of charge without having to do too much to get it. And that's what the game is designed to do. It's a lucky bonus. Now, at the moment, it says end bonus at the bottom and then next round. Pay attention to the next round and watch what happens. Now, if I'm lucky, I choose one slot down here. If there's no bomb, then it's going to be perfect. If I get the bomb, I will have to show you something a little different. So, fingers crossed, we tap on it. I get my two shovels. Very nice. The next round is still grey. I click on another picture and I get two lobsters. Great. Now I've got a three chance option of getting prizes and a one chance option now of getting a bomb. And it's still grey. I'm going to choose this one on the left hand side and I get some vouchers. Five. Now, if I actually think about continuing here, one of those three is going to be a bomb. Now, my odds are basically getting worse here. So I've got a one in three chance of uh, blowing up or two in three chance of actually getting the right one and being okay. But what I can do is forget about this one now. Take what I've got and end the game by clicking on end bonus, which is what some people have been doing. But you don't have to. You don't even have to continue choosing the rest of the three question marks here and risking getting a bomb then paying the diamonds. You can go straight to the next round. So if you click on the next round now, you'll see there there's more chances to get items, but there are two bombs this time. So of the nine there, two of those are bombs, seven of those are okay. Now I've not spent any diamonds yet to move into this round. There are prizes I can still claim. If I want to, I can end the bonus or I can continue. So I'm going to take one here and fingers crossed I get something. Okay, I'm lucky so far. I'm going to choose another one down there on the left hand side. Again, I'm lucky. Now what I can do if I wanted to, again, is to stop and then take the prizes I've got. Or I can keep working my way through and hopefully choosing a few more squares until the next round opens up. If the next round opens up, because the quantity of items has now gone down in relation to what I'm able to choose, I'm probably not going to do any more on this one again. I will then move to the next one. However, you'll get more squares and you'll get three bombs. Now, with what I've got at the moment, I'm actually very happy with this reward. But the basic pattern is the same. You choose a few of the squares. If you get no bomb, then you go to the next round. Choose a few more of the squares. If you get no bomb, go to the last round. Choose a few of the squares again, and then that's it. And then you click your prizes from each of the three rounds. Now, if you get a bomb at any stage, 
that's fine. Just forget about it. You've lost all of the prizes um, or you can spend the diamonds. If it's in the first round, the diamonds can be very, very expensive uh, in the second and third round. But the first round's only five. If you get a bomb early, it's worthwhile actually doing all of them because it's only five diamonds for what you're getting. But in the second round, the bomb price is more expensive. So you're going to lose the diamonds you've paid if you quit. So if you do this method, then you're not really spending any diamonds as you move through and you can claim some nice prizes. I'm going to stop there. I've got myself two of the lobsters, two of the shovel, five of the blue, seven of the green, three of the lollipops. I could have kept going, but that's nice and I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, right, that's me, Red, signing off from this video. Hopefully that gave you a good indication of what you need to do. Uh, let me know how it works out for you. Good luck and see you next time. Bye now.